I-29 male grew up in a world of scarcity. My family was dirt poor, like sharing meals and, and living by candlelight because the electricity was cut off. Poor. My parents worked hard, but with five kids to care for, it was impossible to make ends meet. Money was always tight, and survival was the priority. As the eldest, I felt the pressure early on to change the narrative. I didn't want to live the rest of my life in that kind of struggle, so I hustled. After high school, I went to community college while juggling multiple jobs to stay afloat. I eventually transferred to a reputable university and graduated with student loans, but also with the foundation for a solid career in tech. Fast forward a decade, and I've clawed my way out of that life. I've paid off my loans, built a career, and now I'm living comfortably. It wasn't easy, but I'm proud of the life I've created. Now I'm engaged to my amazing fiance, 20HF. She's been working hard to finish her degree while balancing part-time jobs, but between tuition and living expenses, it's been a tough ride. She's incredibly independent and hates asking for help, but I've seen how much she struggles. I offered to cover her last two semesters so she could focus on her studies without the constant financial stress. I want us to start our marriage on solid footing, and helping her graduate debt-free felt like the right thing to do. But here's where things get messy. My younger sister, 21 female, recently found out I'm paying for my fiancé's tuition, and she didn't take it well. She confronted me, saying that if I can afford to help my fiancé, I should help her too. She's been in college for a couple of years, and feels that I owe her the same kind of support. Now, some context. My sister and I have never been particularly close. There's always been tension between us, fueled partly by her uh, resentment of my success. She's made comments over the years about how I got out while the rest of the family is still struggling. I've tried to be understanding. Our upbringing was tough, and I've also worked my ass off to be where I am. Nothing was handed to me. Her reaction to my paying for my fiancé's tuition felt less like a plea for help and more like a demand. She said it's unfair that I'm prioritizing someone who's not even family over her. I told her that my fiancé is my future and that supporting her is an investment in the life we're building together. My sister wasn't having it. She accused me of abandoning my roots and said I owe it to her and the family to help out. My parents have now jumped into the fray. They're siding with my sister, saying it's family first, and that I should be helping her instead of some girl. They've implied that my success comes with an obligation to give back, especially since I'm in a better financial position than anyone else in the family. This isn't the first time they've turned to me for financial help. Over the years I've pitched in when I could, helping with overdue bills, sending money for emergencies, and even covering their electric bill last winter when they were struggling. I've done what I could without compromising my own financial goals, but this feels different. I told my sister and parents that I'm not a bank. I've worked hard to get where I am, and I don't think I owe anyone my money. My sister's education is not my responsibility, and honestly, I feel like she's asking out of entitlement rather than genuine need. She's still getting by. And while I understand college is expensive, she has options. Scholarships, loans, part-time jobs, just like I did. The, the backlash has been intense. My sister hasn't stopped calling me selfish. And my parents have accused me of turning my back on the family. They think I'm setting a bad example by choosing my fiancé over blood. My mom 
even said, how can you build a future with someone when you're burning bridges with your past? But that's stung, but I still don't think I'm in the wrong here. My fiancé and I are building a life together. She's not just some girl. She's the person I plan to spend the rest of my life with. Helping her finish her degree is a step toward that future. Meanwhile, my sister and I have no relationship beyond shared DNA. I love her, but I can't let her resentment dictate my choices. <laughs> Still, part of me feels guilty. I know my family has struggled, and I hate the thought of them seeing me as selfish. But I also worry that if I give in, it'll set a precedent where they expect me to foot the bill for every problem. I've worked too hard to get where I am, and I don't want to jeopardize my future or my relationship by becoming the family ATM. Still, part of me feels guilty. I don't have any family. I've never been faithful. There's, there's no way I would do anything like that. So, am I the a-hole for not paying for my sister's college when I'm paying for my fiancé's?